today on Nico's Kitchen. This chocolate slice takes no time at all to make and tastes amazing. We're making my no-bake chocolate slice. So what we're going to do first, just into a saucepan over a medium to high heat, I'm going to be adding in some sweetened condensed milk. Next, I'm going to be adding in some thickened cream. And I'm just going to mix the cream and the condensed milk together and just over that medium to high heat, keep stirring it for about five to six minutes or until it starts to turn a nice golden colour. So while our condensed milk and cream mixture is doing its thing over on the stove, I'm going to get started on our biscuits or cookies. Now these are just plain chocolate cookies or chocolate biscuits as we call them here in Australia and all I want you to do is crush them. Now you can either put them in a Ziploc bag and use a rolling pin, you can put them in a food processor. Basically we're looking for like a nice sort of sand consistency, almost like what you would do with a cheesecake base. So this is exactly what I'm after guys. You can see there's a few little chunky bits in there, that's fine. But that's the bulk of it, that's the consistency we're after. Add melted butter to the crumb mixture and combine. Place crumbs into a square baking dish lined with baking paper. Press down and flatten the crumbs just like you would with a cheesecake base. Now pour over the cooled condensed milk mix and place in the fridge for one hour. Now melt milk chocolate, leave to cool slightly and spread over the top. Place in the fridge for one more hour and then all we have to do is slice it up and get stuck into this bad boy. I remember mum making this for me when I was a kid and I loved it. It's still one of my favourite. It is such a classic, so easy to do. Get the kids involved. They're going to have a blast making this and it tastes amazing. It really, really does. Perfect for those times when you've got people coming over and you're on short notice and you want to give them something to have. Keep these ingredients in the pantry and you can whip this up in no time at all. And like I said, it tastes amazing. You can change it up, you can change the base up, you can use any cookie base that you want to. You can use white chocolate, milk chocolate, it's completely up to you. And if you even want to cheat more, go and buy some of that caramel top and fill for that middle layer. It'll work just as well. But in any case, give this a try. It is so good, it will be making you dance in the street. <laughs> 